Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jesse Jenks from Black Fork Lawn. This is probably going to be the last weekend. I did a, had some couple properties done yesterday, finishing everything up today. I mean, like I said in my Instagram, it's going to be one of them bittersweet kind of moments. You know, it's been a good year. It's been a great first year. I'm truly blessed to even have the ability to come out and uh, and do this for a living. There's so many people that, that don't have that option, and the good Lord's blessed me with enough strength and knowledge to at least move into it and at least attempt it. And if I keep grounded, you know, we'll, we'll see. But, it, you know, it, it truly is. It just, if, if it's God's plan, that's, that's what it truly is. But we're going to finish up a couple of these properties a day. Might run over. And if I don't get it done today, I'll definitely be done tomorrow. But got a frost warning coming in. So it looks like it's about it. But fall cleanups around the corner. I'm hoping it may be, you know, I just got to, I just got to market myself and, and, uh, just gotta mark myself and keep going, man. This is true. I mean, I've met so many good people on here. This has been a roller coaster of a ride. I've learned a lot. I love it, man. I mean, there's no way, there's no way that I would go back into the man that I want to go back into manufacturing. We'll see. It's all in, it's all in how hard I work and if, if what the good Lord provides. So. You already know Cody. He's probably gonna be. Uh, he does a lot. He helps me out a lot I'm trying to get him to. He's got an opportunity by a landscape company. I keep telling him that he needs to make sure and go through with it. Like someone like him, he. Someone like him, he already knows how to build everything. Someone like him, he already knows everything about the business. So if we could. It's so hard. That's what people don't understand. It's so hard when you go from working in a factory, you've got a guaranteed paycheck. Yeah. you got guaranteed income. Like. But you know, if you do buy this landscape company off that guy, you know you can make money. But at the same time, it's risky because you're not going to have health insurance. You're not going to have a 401k. Yeah. So it's like you gotta, you gotta like grind it it's out, to make that, it work. That weekly paycheck, man. Once once you get used to that and you've survived off of it so long, it's right. there, it's hard. But I, I'm trying, kind of almost. I want to do what you did make my move into that territory go slow but while i also you know right. i still have this there's a there's a really good channel i want you to watch it's been johnny mo he's johnny mo johnny mo he's also he talks about branch theology where you grow slow with your company don't just don't go out and get a bunch of debt like you're already smart you already know a lot of that it's just johnny mo is really good he's got a lot of good stuff like there's a lot of good youtubers that are out here that, that are helping people but if you buy a landscape company Chances are that people ain't gonna want to roll with you, yeah. but you know what I mean. You're a people person, so you know what I mean. You already, you already, you know what I mean. You already know it. But I really think, I mean, that's that's the way to go, dude. Like, it's it's scary. You know, I was yeah. underselling myself the whole time, and I didn't really know, know that. Yeah. You know, I didn't know it. I was just trying to help him out and put a little bit of money in our pockets. But you know, he told me, he's like, listen, you're you're not gonna get up and leave your family, you're not gonna leave your house, spend any of your time, you know, for for less than this amount of money. What it's worth for you. Yeah, yeah. and he, he said, you need to take what, what you think it's worth, go a little bit above that, and if they're not willing to pay it, they're not willing to pay it, but he right. said they are willing yeah. to pay it. They you are know, that's why it. they're coming to you, so. Right. It, it's kind of. Yeah, because there's jobs that like. We just grew up, you know, you grew up the same way. Your dad, it's, it's help everybody you can, right. you know? Your dad was the same way, and that's all. If you show up at my house and you ask for something, I'm gonna come out and try to do it for you. I'm not gonna try and gouge you. You know, I'm just gonna try and help you get along. Right. And we grew up that way with, right. with that. That's so it, we that's what makes it so much harder on, on somebody like me. Like starting your own company, it's so it's so easy. I always thought like, how do you start a company? Yeah. And then like, dude, I swear it's my insurance when you get your general liability or. Uh, yeah, general liability insurance. It's it's. T I pay twenty six bucks a month. I got a million dollar policy, and that's what everybody around here they ask for. That separates yeah. you from the kid down the street. Yeah, you know, just want to make. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if I go through, I kick a rock through someone's window, dude. That could. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I have the insurance to cover it now. Yeah. And to start your own LLC, I would never recommend anybody to go sole proprietor just because it's like, if you do mess up, a sole proprietor they can sue you in your life versus where if I mess up having an LLC. They can only sue my company. Now I'll lose yeah. my company, but my family and my yeah. wages that Still I- Still safe. 
That's what the, the it's LLC. Hundred hundred dollars, dude. It's all it costs. I've been I've been wanting to do that too, but uh, I think if if I could get in um, landscaping too, because it's it's something that I that I enjoy You're good doing. At it too. I like being outside. I I know a good amount of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're really good at it. But I think, you know, if I could do something like that, it, it would be right alongside you. you right. Know? It's like I, I would go do landscaping, and if they don't have any anybody mowing, I have I have a good friend that, that has a right. mowing business, and if you show up to mow, and you know their landscaping looks rough, exactly. then you could come and, and say, hey, and you know, we can about. get that done, and. Um, that's what it's all about, man. I mean, it's when you lose that. There's a great book that I read by Robert Kiyosaki, uh, The Cash Flow Quadrant, and he also wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he talks about when people, um, the thing goes, when he was a little kid, he wanted to learn, like, he had a rich dad and he had a poor dad. And, like, this, this, his rich dad was, like, his friend's father. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a second dad. Obviously, you, you know, we know what that's like having friends that are like parents, you know? Yeah. But, like, when, how we, once you get that first paycheck, you become a slave because it's like you no longer you work. You're sitting here out here all day like this, yeah. And you don't you you lose that risk. You lose everything. It's a it's a really really good book, but like it's hard to explain. But the principle of it is if you once you get that paycheck, you're done. And he worked for free for knowledge. Now what he learned all them years working for free for his rich dad, he's a bazillionaire right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. He did try it on his own and he failed and he was living in uh, California, living in his car and he called one day and asked for asked for money and his rich dad was like, I could, but, yeah, you know but. what I mean? And then he didn't do it and he now he's buku bucks. I mean, it's all about grinding and like, dude, it took me a long time to even make that jump to say, yes, sign me up for the long term life. Cause like, I still have a fallback plan. Yeah. Now, that's why I don't feel like my company is taking off as good as it should cause I'm, I know I have a fallback yeah. plan. I yeah. know I do. Which that's is, that's my fault right now. Yeah, that's a that's a big part of it though. Within this last year, it's just like when when we went from what we had to that house. Mm -hmm. What what I learned right there, if I apply that to other things, because just not even a year ago, we we didn't have any money, and we thought, you know, we're going to be paying rent on a house that's that's somebody else's. Right. You know, and and this is just it, it's this is just the way we're going to live. Right. You know, right. we can't do anything else. Right. And then the opportunity for the house come along and we're like, listen, we're, we're tired of doing this. Exactly. We're going to try it. We're going to go for it. And not even a year later, we had more money in our account than we ever had right. before. And long time. all while doing the same thing, it was just changing your mindset. Yeah, it was just changing the mindset. And that really opened me up. Once we got in that house, I'm like, you know what? I'm. I'm, not, I'm done going to MTD yep. and making this much money. Yeah, you're gonna I'm get the done same thing. doing it. I cannot do this for the rest of my life. I'm not settling here. Right. This is where I want to be. Yeah, you need to read that book. So right. now it's just trying to figure out what I got to put in place to get You're there. right now where I was at six months ago. Like, yeah. look, I need to do something different. You know what I mean? If you start your own company, you, you can even come along and help me with my, my company, and then you can still jump and then start your own yeah. thing. And we can con con you know come together and like, I want to go with the Optimax. See, he has that big wonker. I want to meet up with him, man. Yeah. I want to get good with all these guys. I don't want to have competition that's like pot throwing stuff under your mower when you're not there, putting yeah. green stakes in the yard. Cause like that stuff happens and that's not right. I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I really think that you could, you would be a really good, you know what I mean? I think you, I really think you should need to talk to that owner and be like, look, man, I'm really interested in trying to buy your company. Here's my situation. Yeah. I know you want out and I want in. Here's my situation. Let's make it work. Even if you got to give up, let's say, 20% of all wages for five yeah. years. You know what I mean? Now, that's a lot. But, like, it might be worth it because you know yeah. he's only doing it part-time, too. Yeah. So if you did it full-time, and you only have to give him 20% of the customers that he gives you with that account. And that's not saying all your new people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you got a lot of good equipment. It's worth something to look into, man. Yeah, that's what you I guys think know is Cody. just make the push. Make the push, man. I just got to make the push. But look I, up, look I can at, say that, man, for, for anybody that's watching, it doesn't doesn't matter what you're doing. Don't ever, it's anything in your life that's a work for. Don't ever think, well, I, you know, I'm down at the bottom of a hole. You know, here I am. I've been been digging, and there's no way I'm going to get out, so right. I might as well just keep digging, or this is where I'm stuck. As long all, as you think that way, 
it's gonna keep getting worse. For all know? them years that like, like for 28 years. Everybody around here works in a factory. Yeah, I just yeah. thought like this is what we gotta do. And you people, know, and struggling and suffering and, yep. and living down here is it's fine because that's what everybody else is doing. Right. But now you see that it's like yeah, I, I because like well here's the thing. What's it like you take you take Donald Trump for example, not Donald Trump the president, but Donald Trump the business owner, the bazillionaire. You take him, you Take him out in the middle of the Sierra Desert, you and him together, you both buck naked. Both you together. Who's going to be rich faster? You both started from the same level, except the mindsets are a lot different. Now, yeah. 10 years later, Donald Trump's going to be a millionaire. Yeah. Where are you going to be? Do you have the opportunity to, to get there? Because it's, it's not this. It's not straight. It's not linear. It's a slope. Yeah. So it's like knowledge and power you can get there it's just there's no difference from this guy here versus this guy way up here yeah. it's just he got there a little bit faster and on a different trajectory yeah now when we sit here yeah, and I'm we spend all our days in a factory and we see everybody around us we're like well this is just what it is yeah it's not and the and the, the people that are up running the company and that are rich and doing well they i used to just always think you know, well, his, you know, his dad probably, his dad wasn't in, his dad gave him money, or he inherited money, and that's why he's here. Right. And that's what's crazy, is as long as I've thought that, too, I don't look at it that way anymore. I think, you know, right. man, like, if in the right position, I could probably right. end up there. Now, what know? what step do I got to take to and, get closer to that? Yeah, that's that's what it's... Uh, right, and that's the jump that I moved saying, But you know I feel what? like looking... Yeah. looking now I used to think that I had a good job at MTD, and I'm not saying that it's it's not you know, a good hey, job. At least yeah, I'm is. working, and, and it's it's paying my bills. It's getting me what I want for now. But when I look at my my buddies, my friends that have been there for 30, 40 years, and they're still in the same boat I am, right. and and they have really nowhere to move. They're right. they're just there. I I'm, I cannot do that. Exactly. You know? And the physical labor, like you do on the line. Like, I wake up some days, I'm not even 30 yet. I wake up some days and I go in and I just You're look dead. at everybody and I'm like, how are these people hey, doing this, man? When this I dude's 20, 30 years older than me. How are they still doing this every day? Hey, when, when I, I first, cannot do that. I understand. When I first read uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad, I went out, I opened the paint room door, and I look out and I see all these assemblers, various different ages, races, colors, religions, everybody's working together in unison, which is good. But like you're talking a 20, 20 year old guy versus a thirty year veteran. Yeah. And they're all just they're raising side their, by side. Dude, they're raising their hand to go to the bathroom. They're raising their hand to go to the bathroom. Yeah, you guys, like I said, you guys already know Cody. Trying to push him into doing his own thing. He's gonna be successful with it. We just gotta get we gotta stop with the employee mindset, move into yeah. the business mindset. Read Robert Kiyosaki. Just Google him, Google Johnny Mo. He's got a lot of good. There's a lot of good. I've heard you over. talk about him quite a few times, so I'll look. I'll look him up. These guys, big YouTube fans, right? These guys are. They've been here. You know what I mean? They've been where we are. Yeah. And we learn from their mistakes. Let you know. Let history be our guide. Uh, let history be our guide. N knowledge take all take over. Let the, we use their knowledge and use their failures, so we don't make the same mistakes. Yeah. You know, and we can, just because everybody in this area makes. 30 to 50,000 yeah. a year. I, I would say probably 40,000 is probably average. Now, we got to service these people to the best of our ability, but at the same time, we don't have to be the guys that's in the factories anymore. Yeah. No one ever What's, told me that. No one told me how money worked. It's funny. Well, I was in school. He's going to be it's, starting his own channel here soon. Yeah. He's, he's work, he yeah, did I do the, want to start my own channel. Give you a little idea. He put the clutch master cylinder in that. He's done a lot of work. He changed this truck right here from an automatic to a standard. A lot of people say these things can't be done on these certain vehicles, but I'm telling you that they, they can. Yeah. He's brilliant with it. We're going to build his channel up, hopefully move into a landscaping thing. This area around here is not known for anything but corn and factories, and hopefully we can come out of that grind. But Cody, yeah. I'm going to get to work. All right, man. I'll catch up with you. All right. We'll see you guys. Well, I wandered way back in the mountain I was searching for fortune and fame I found where the water runs sweet from the hills They call it the Medicine Springs They call it the Medicine Springs 
It was there I met a fair maiden Yellow hair and big eyes of blue She told me one day she loved only me That she'd forever be true That she'd forever be true Pockets were empty and bound My love was so great for this darling of mine I took what another man had. Sorry about that guys, my uh my phone died so I wasn't able to get the uh you know the mowing side of it. I didn't even realize it died. I'm over here talking in the talking in the camera and everything. Yeah. I took what another man had As I sat here alone in this jailhouse With a letter I can't hardly read It said my darling had left this old world Is awaiting in heaven for me She's awaiting in heaven for me Someday I'll go back to the mountain Where I'll spend the rest of my day Look at this pulley right here guys When I was running I think it belt slipped off It melted Wow, oh, that's really hot So I gotta change this pulley now Look at that How did that hit? How in, how in the world did that happen? That's crazy. That's crazy. And the water that runs from the side of the hill will water her flower be gray. Will water her flower be gray. 